Hi sixth graders, this video is on variables and expressions, so make sure you label the top of your notes with that. This is also algebra, intro to algebra, and the learning tar target is being able to evaluate algebraic expressions using substitution. All right, some vocab words that I want you to write down, but don't worry, you don't have to write all of this down. So note that math that uses variables is called algebra, and we're gonna start using uh, variables in solving our algebraic expressions in this video and, and in our next lesson. So first word that I want you to write down is variable. Variable is a symbol that represents an unknown quantity. It's a letter. So a variable you can just write letter, meaning it stands for a number. So Example is um, X, N, M, any letters that are in the place of a number, and you will see that when we get to our algebraic expressions. An algebraic expression is an expression that contains variables, numbers, and at least one operation. If you remember our last video, we talked about numerical expressions that contained just numbers and operations. So a numerical expression would be three plus two. An algebraic expression would be three x plus two. So it has a number, a variable, and at least one operation. Constant is a number that does not change. So if we look at n plus two, and you could just write down n plus two, and then you could write two is the constant because two does not change. So you could even write a little arrow that says constant. Algebraic expression, I think it would be helpful for you to have an example of the numerical expression versus the algebraic expression. And then coefficient is the factor of a multiplication expression that contains a variable. So coefficient, you could just write this example, 4n, which remember I said a, ver a number with a variable means multiplication. I think I said that in the last video. So 4n would be the same as 4 times n, and the coefficient would be the 4 because it is the factor of the um, multiplication expression of the variable. So then this would be coefficient, and we'll go through these words again in class tomorrow, and then substitution is replacing something with something of equal value. So basically it is, you could just write putting numbers where the letters are. That's what substitution is, putting numbers where the, le the letters are. So if we look at 4r, which remember is the same as 4 times r, this little dot means multiplication, and then if we're told that r equals 2, then instead of r, we would do 4 times 2. All right, so let's look at evaluating an algebraic expression. You do not have to write this one down because you'll do your own in a minute here. But if we have n plus 3, I know what n plus 3 is an algebraic expression because it has a variable, it has a number, and it has an operation. And we don't know what n is until now we're told that n equals 4. So we take this four and we put it in for n. So I'm gonna rewrite n plus three with a four instead of an n. So four plus three, and then we know that that equals seven. I could be told that n equals a thousand, and then instead I would put a thousand in for n. I could be told that n is zero and I would put zero in for n, but right now it's four. Okay, you pause the video and try these problems down here and then come back and unpause and check. So we have C equals eight and D equals five. So I'm always going to rewrite just so that I'm clear as to what I'm doing. I'm not gonna try to do it in my head, even though you probably can, because as we get more, we wanna get used to rewriting them. So if you didn't write them down, make sure you write them down so you're used to practicing substitution. So C minus three, instead of um, C, I'm gonna write eight. So eight minus three, and then I know eight minus three obviously equals five. 15 minus D, which is the same as 15 minus five because D equals five, 15 minus five is 10. And then C plus D, well I know C is eight, 
D is 5, add them together, 8 plus 5 is 13. Okay, here's an example with a coefficient. Remember the coefficient is going to be this 6, 6n, so a number that is before a multiplication expression with a variable, so that's the coefficient. And then also another vocab word is a 4, that would be our constant because that one is not changing. So we have 6n plus 4. I'm going to rewrite it when n equals 5. So 6n, remember, is 6 times n. So I'm going to write it like this. 6 times 5, because n is 5, plus 4. Now I do multiplication. Now my PEMDAS comes in, in, and I have to do it in the same order of operations. So multiplication is first. 6 times 5 is 30, plus 4. 30 plus 4 is 34. Okay, now you try these on your own and then come back and check your answers. So we have 8w minus 2v. Remember, 8w is the same as 8 times w and 2v is the same as 2 times v. So before I do anything, I'm going to rewrite it with w in as 5 and v as 3. So 8 times, I could write it like this too, 8 times 5. So this dot, and now that we're working with algebra, we're going to basically use the dot for multiplication instead of an x because x is a really common number to use as a variable. And let's say if it was 8x and I needed to rewrite it 8 times x, well, that just is confusing and looks funny, and it would be better to write 8 times x like that. So let's get in the habit of using the dot for multiplication. So we have 8 times 5 minus 2 times 3. I do multiplication first. 8 times 5 is 40. 2 times 3 is 6, and then I carry down that subtraction. 40 minus 6 is 34. And then we have 4y squared plus 2 and y equals 3. So 4 times 3 squared plus 2. This squared is really important to know that the 2 goes with the y. Exponents come before multiplication. So I'm going to do my 3 squared first and then multiply it times 4. So 4 times, and remember 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9, plus 2. So if you got confused on that one and got it incorrect. Make sure that you cross it off and have the correct way to solve it. And then I do multiplication. 4 times 9 is 36 plus 2 equals 38. And then lastly, if a equals 3, b equals 2, and c equals 5, let's solve these. So if we have a, b, just because there's no number we just have two variables, that still means multiplication. So it's always, whenever anything is next to a variable, whether it's another variable or a number, it's always multiplication. So you might want to write that in your notebook to remind yourself, okay? Two variables or a number and a variable next to each other is multiplication. A, B is the same as A times B. So if I, if I, Substitute A, and I put 3, and then B is 2, so 3 times 2 would be 6. And then we have B, C, which is the same as B times C. B is 2, C is 5, 2 times 5 is 10. And then we have 4, A, B, C, which is the same as 4 times A times B times C. And because it's all multiplication, I just solve it left to right. So we have 4 times 3 times 2 times 5. And again, I'm rewriting it so I know exactly what I'm doing. 4 times 3 is 12 times 2 times 5. And then 12 times 2 is 24 times 5. And then 24 times 5 is 120. 
All right, don't forget, rewatch this video if you need to for better understanding or if you need more notes, make sure you have these notes from this video in the next class period. And if you did not take notes, go back and rewatch to take notes. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.